Okay, so resource extraction, Baduru against a big deck Janna. It's Mark Mouth. Mar Mark Mouth 2's Janna. Um, what kind of starting hand is that? If he's playing a Glass Chalice, it could be a bit annoying. I have no resource destruction, that's pretty bad. Hmm. I'm gonna need the traps. Okay. Right now you might know that I hate carrying item destruction for too long. Avenger of the Fallen, I can live with that. I'm gonna keep... Uh, probably has a lot of fatties, Jenna likes her sandworms. Aeons, which is annoying, pretty bad, but nevertheless, I'm gonna dump one of those. So Avenger of the Fallen is a two, um, he's a zero four, but it gets plus one attack on your turn, and oh yeah, scripture. So she's gonna draw a lot. That's not so good for me, especially since I don't have any resource destructions. And I still don't have any. At least next turn, I'll be able to uh, kill the the Avenger, get the Tactician on, so um, I will I will prevent her from playing uh, Heirloom. Oh damn! So he's gonna draw a lot. The point of all the resource destruction is to. Um, prevent your opponent, like, your opponent has to make very hard sacrifice choices, so um, he's top decking quite early, but um, it's not gonna be the case this time. I'm going with crossbow, I'll kill that, and now I can play either um, wraps or tactician, but I'm gonna go with tactician, because he won't be able to play tidal wave anyway, and then I can start Hopefully start my uh, resource destruction chain. He won't be able to play weenies, so that's good, but he could play a fatty. Focused prayer is a bit annoying. Double tactician, that's interesting though. HBM is much better than Raps because you don't lose a resource. Um, I mean, I'd still be at 4 if I had HBM, but um, Zalesim, I don't mind so much because, like, oh, <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. It'll be very expensive for him to play a, uh, <laughs> a tidal wave. All his items and abilities are now at plus two cost. You could play a fatty, that would be annoying. And I'm not gonna draw from Grundlers, which is a little bad. Now his tidal wave costs five, six, seven. Yeah, let's go to eight. So that that's a kind of consistency that having, you know, um, what is it? I have fourteen cards that attack my opponent's resources. So. Um, so I missed my early HBMs and <laughs> and uh, wraps, but I I got my tacticians and I'm gonna abuse the hell out of them. I don't feel bad about it. I'm gonna play Grundlers if if he uh, plays a focused prayer. No, I have 11 attacking power. If he plays a focused prayer, I don't really mind. And it cost him seven to play that focused play prayer.
Um, okay, what do I do? I think I keep the Frostmare. I, I can attack for 8. So now a Tidal Wave for him is costs 9, so I'm not afraid of that. Yeah, I think I'm going for... I have my resource destruction chain. That's pretty good. No, he can't even play Zelzim, right? No, he can't. It's it's at seven. I'm gonna delay him some more. I have a crossbow coming. I should have kept the Frostmare in case he finds a way to uh, deal with my tacticians, but I don't think he will. No, okay, so um, <laughs> that was a a bit of a weird draw, getting my four tacticians this early, but um, at the same time, it kind of showcased uh, you know, the consistency you can achieve achieve in time in terms of uh, uh, resource denial. I think I have a pretty good game. That I played a little earlier. It's not gonna be live, but I played uh, Lorgi, or Lorgi, I don't know how he pronounces, from the Blue Phoenixes. He's playing Gart, and I have the exact same deck I just uh, I just showed you guys. This time I went first, and uh, I had a pretty, I had a more standard uh, opening. I, I remember I had a um, a Night Prowler in my hand, and I. Going first, it can be good to have the Night Prowler early, so you can finish the games uh, quite fast. Um, but uh, I elected to uh, to sacrifice it for uh, this guy. Oh, I thought it was a tactician. There's a tactician coming. Um, I think he skips his turn then, this time. Yeah. So you know, decks only have so much plays they can make on three uh, on three resources. And uh, if you're a little lucky, well, you can you can uh, get them on a bad draw. I don't know if it's a bad draw or what he sacrificed, but uh, no, skipping a turn is pretty bad this early in the game. And um, I know he's not gonna play a a. Uh, Top Thief, which is very good against Baduru because it removes his item and it uh, boosts your resources. So uh, it's pretty much the best card you can play in, the, in that matchup. Uh, instead, I played a Tactician. It did not trigger because uh, I had a Frostmare on the field, which allowed him to play his IGG, which is um, not optimal. Well, this is exactly the kind of situation where Nightcrawler would be very good when your opponent doesn't have a weapon and he uh, doesn't have an ally on the field. So you can steal for probably two turns. But uh, even then, you know, it costs him six to play an Ankle Breaker or Tut Ripper Cutlass. Um, even Shadow Thief is at five, so he has to sacrifice an extra card to, uh, to play it. So. Um, yeah, and I'm in a very good position this game. He's already down to 14 too. Uh, yeah, here we're gonna see perfect shot with a uh, cheap Frostmare. That's the kind of play I want to be able to make. If I had a DMT, I could I could have gone for uh, you no know, the tactician on Aldon things like that. But I want to put pressure on him. He's gonna be on on seven. And I have my four shadow energy, so I know I have two bows left in my hand. So I can come in for three. Uh, chances are he can kill both allies. He won't. I can come in for three, four, put him on uh, on three health, and then I can just chip away with my other weapons. Slow him down some more. I'm gonna give him a lot of cards, but. Uh, I don't. I don't care much. I don't. At that point, I didn't really think he had. He had anything that could stop me, unless he had a handful of stop thieves. But uh, I'm willing to take that risk. Plus, he more crossbow is very good against uh, <laughs> against nightshade, which.
which is otherwise a very annoying ally. So he did have the stop thief, but um, by me getting, the, I, I remember I got the frostmare from the HBM, so now I only had to play my uh, other uh, crossbow, and the game's over. So once again, it's not about you know completely dominating your opponent, but it's about finding that point. You just slow him down, build up your board a little, and then uh, you know, like the tactician is kind of neat in the sense that he, he attacks for four. So if you swing just a couple of times with him into the hero, uh, the other guy will be down, and then you have to pick your pick your moment where uh, you can take over the game and just go for the face, and you don't care about what your uh, what your opponent's gonna play because uh, you know his uh, his clock is uh, is run out. Um, so yeah, there was uh, nothing new, but uh, just a little improvement on the on the uh, Badu resource denial archetype. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. See you next time.